important, very important as far as roughage is concerned. And <laughs> look at the one throwing a bit of a gas. <laughs> This is almost a deja vu moment. I, I seem to recall doing exactly the same thing almost a few years ago. I pushed over Marula tree approaching the herd and having them feeding on the branches. Now, of course, the Marula trees are being, being very large trees. They also fruit on this tree. Being as large as they are, um, I just had to stop there because they were getting a little uneasy. Careful. See, now that's disciplining. I don't know, did you catch that? This cow, the older cow, actually, shame, she scared, the, scared this little one that we've been watching. But the little one with her mother that we were watching tried to come in to feed on this maroon. And this older cow didn't want them. So she actually forced the younger cow away. But circumstances like this, when the family does get a little, it's like elephant on a on a kill. They they love each other until there's food or there's something that they have to concentrate on. And I think little one got pushed around a little bit. That little one was pushed around a little bit under that little bit of an onslaught. But uh, clearly, this older cow, it's not the matriarch, but this older cow, obviously the second oldest, or the maybe the sister of the matriarch. Yeah, now the other one's going around the back. Jealous. As you can see, she's eating branches and the branches are going in leaves, fruit, the works. Oh, she's actually picking the leaves off with the green fruit. Oh, she's eating it. Now, the other cow that was just been chased away has now come around the other side. So she's going to try and feed on something on that side. Because the main portion of the tree is, is being fed on by the older cow and the matriarch. So she'll just try and squeeze in there. She's obviously third in line in terms of, of where she stands. There are only the three cows. Three cars, three older children, and the two older children, well, three, I guess, older children, and then two youngsters. So, that little, the middle calf, that the, the her firstborn, I guess, talking about this, the smallest car, her, her firstborn, just seeking a bit of comfort there, obviously a little bit stressed from auntie getting, having a hissy fit. And a small herd of elephant like this will probably could, could even deplete this marula of all of its lower branches because they only take advantage of the fact that there are branches to eat now. And the big car actually breaking even more of them down so that the calves can get to them. I'm guessing that the tree was, may have been pushed over by an elephant, a bull, either trying to shake it to get fruit loose. It would have been a, it was a, a lovely dual marula. I mean, it would have been two seeds that germinated at the same time and managed to grow up together for the last 50, 60 years or more. Now they're separated. So this is angry aunt who must have found some mud on the way here through the drainage line. Probably when I was looking for a way down there was probably when they were in the mud. She looks like she's the only one that really had much of a mud bar. Although the matriarch might. She's behind the marula tree. I can't see her. Is this in the way? No. No. The 
two little boys that are with the herd, both of them already. And we've got the one on the left, he's the one that had the little hole in his rump that looks like it's getting a little bit, well, it's probably fairly recent. He's flicking it with his tail slightly just behind this bush willow, so we can't see it too well. But you can see how he's off to the side and there's another little boy to the right. I think it's a little boy, it would normally be already starting to gain a little bit of independence, already starting to sort of stand away from the herd, but still staying with the herd because they're still young. <laughs> Funny. Too delightful. I could sit here all day. Are you going to come and say hello, little one? Picking up a marula fruit. And big sister just... Blocking it a little bit. She's got a lot of ticks on her. Just, you can see that one big white tick. Just above her knee, on the right flank, but under her armpits full of big white ticks under her arms. And these are probably ticks that specialize in elephants. Hello auntie. Angry aunt. And that I think is the little boy that had the scratch on his side. It's difficult, I don't think. It can be easy for a camera person, and it certainly be very difficult for me trying to choose who to point the camera at because there are lots of little things happening amongst them. How long does it take for elephants to digest and pass what they eat? Hmm, good question, Liz. Where is SRQ? I'd be interested to know. I'm not sure, Liz. I know a friend of mine who did a study on elephants. She did her PhD. Um, I know she did do some studies because they would actually follow elephants until they could tie in with what they were eating. I think it's anything, I think a lot of, obviously it also depends on what they're eating and how much roughage they take in. I think anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, if I'm not mistaken. But I'll try and find another answer to that, Lou. I don't really want to go anywhere, but it is le reaching that time of the day when we're going to have to say goodbye. I'm going to have to say goodbye to you and to them. Although, I can sit here for a little while longer. I think we can, we can sit for a few minutes longer.
Everybody wants an extra five minutes, say I. I. And I heard a resounding I from around the world. Actually, so loud I heard it. Sarasota, Florida, SRQ. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, there was a typo on the name. It wasn't Liz, it's Lisa. Sorry, Lisa. Sarasota, Florida. Come here. Come on. Wow. That gave the little one a fright. sand where the root ball of the marula has sort of lifted up. So he's going to climb up there. King of the castle. It's a silent elephant feeding. I'm not going to talk for a minute. Just listen to the kingfishers and the ellies. I don't think I quite got to round to the trunk question. How long does it take for them to use their trunk? It can take, well, I mean, for feeding it fairly quick. But to get really, to get the finesse of picking things up or throwing sand or mud onto their bodies, I mean, you're just looking at that little one trying to strip the leaves. Uh, and it's a two year old and it's already using the trunk nicely but there's still a lot more it has to learn it's not a, it's almost like a child human child first picking up a pen or a crayon and scribbling with it not quite having the control of eye hand coordination very similar with elephants they they've got to perfect all the actions that the trunk does it does take time some things up to five years maybe 
even more. So everybody say goodbye to this family for now. I'm hoping that we might find them again later this afternoon. And I want to thank you all for joining me, for staying up late for those that did. And uh, oh, for some of you who are in your afternoons, this is going to be our day most of the day. But unfortunately we're going to have to head back to camp now and we're going to leave them, leave them in peace. It is peaceful. It's truly the most wonderful thing to do in the world, for me at any rate. My name is Mark. Liam has been on camera, Brian in final control, and they'll do a bit of a swap around later. So we'll see you at uh, 1600. It's 4 o'clock Central African time, later this afternoon. Sleep well. Goodbye. Have fun. Love you lots.